and welcome back everybody welcome back to the kitchen my name is Maya today we are going to be showing you how to do a deep fried chicken here at home the easiest thing with this is is that you don't need a lot of stuff just some great ingredients and a chicken so to begin with I started off with one and a half cups of flour and to that, I am going to add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, and one teaspoon of dried onion. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of basil, and one teaspoon of thyme, which I have in here. And finally, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of marijuana, I believe I'm saying that right, one teaspoon of sage, and one teaspoon of mustard. So we'll add that in there. And then we will mix this all up. Just grab a fork here and we'll mix this all together. Now for our chicken. While I was getting all of these ingredients together, I have had my chicken in the refrigerator so it would stay nice and cold. And as you can see here, I have um, the chicken is all broken down into the legs, thighs, breast, wings, and all that stuff. And if you wanna know how to break down a chicken, you can watch, we will be posting a video on um, how we broke down a whole chicken and the ways that you can do it, you know, so you, so you can make this at home yourself. So all of, during this time, I have my oil in my little uh, fryer here, heating up to 350 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna drop the basket into my oil, and I'm just gonna take my chicken pieces, and I'm gonna dredge them in the flour, making sure they're all well coated. And then we will just drop them directly into our fryer. We have the two legs, and let's see what else do I like to do. I think I'll do the th chicken thighs here also. Now we want to make sure that we don't overcrowd our fryer because we want to give them room to fry. But let's make sure here. Yeah, they're coming up to a nice fry. So we'll give those chicken breasts a couple seconds here to um, start frying. And then we will add in the rest of our stuff. Now with anything, when you are doing this, when you are working with raw chicken, please make sure to always wash your hands real good. And off to the side here, I have some hot soapy water. And I'm just gonna wash my hands real good. And I will grab my pair of tongs here. And let's just take a look at our chicken breast. Let me try my hands. All right. So I know you can't see, but the chicken now is just beginning to fry. So I know these won't stick to each other. So then what I'm gonna do is, is 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my thighs and probably one leg in there right now because like I say, I don't wanna overcrowd this fryer. What I'm gonna do then, make sure that this is in there, just like so. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna close the lid and we will set a timer and I am gonna let this go for about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I'll say 10 minutes. We're gonna let this deep fry for about 10 minutes. Then we'll throw the other legs and wings in. And when we come back, we will show you what it looks like completely golden brown and completely done. So stay tuned. And we are back. Well, I got the first batch of chicken all cooked and found out that instead of about 10 minutes, it took about eh, roughly about 15 minutes or so. But just wanted to say that I gotta, like I say, if you don't have a fryer like this, you can also pan fry it on top of the stove um, with a uh, regular pan and some oil or um, cast iron pan and some oil. Uh, any of those methods will also work for this recipe. But like I say, I've got this little, um, this little fryer here and to me it works great. It, you know, does what it does and um, you know, fries my chicken and anything else that I feel like, you know, putting in here. But we're just about almost done with this. And as I've always said, people ask, how do you know when your chicken is done? Well, all I can keep saying is, is get yourself one of these. They're not that expensive. It's an instant read thermometer. And what we're going to do is, is as soon as the timer goes off here, we will take our thermometer insert it into the thickest part of our leg and make sure that the temperature is 165 plus. Um, with chicken, that's basically the rule of thumb I use is 165 for everything. Um, I know sometimes they say dark meat, you can go a little longer. Uh, I believe they said dark meat, but it's like 170 or so, but general rule of thumb, 165, your chicken will be nicely cooked and everything. So what I'm gonna do is, is in the oven here, I'm gonna just pull out the first batch that we've already had done. And we'll take a look at our second batch here as it's beginning to finish up. Looking good. And like I say, we got 50 seconds, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the temperature right away make sure that it's done you don't want to touch the bone but you're gonna put it in the thickest part of the chicken and we are looking at one seventy four so that's basically it's done so we'll then end up turning the heat off on our little fryer here and we will get out our pieces of chicken. And what I like to do is when I take my chicken out, I like to just put it on a um, line piece of uh, on a paper plate here with a piece of um, paper towel underneath it, just to absorb some of the uh, grease and everything. So, as you can see, you have perfectly nice golden brown chicken. And we're gonna take a taste. I'm gonna just grab a piece of the breast here um, and we'll rip into it. <clears throat> you get that nice crisp skin on the chicken, the chicken is not dry because like I say, I didn't cook it past 165. I know some people like to say it. Some people say they cook it a little bit longer than that, but I don't believe in that. Like I say, 165 will give you the perfect uh, grill, uh, fried chicken. It's nice, it's moist, tender and juicy. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. 
And if you aren't, um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, we'll be back here next week in the kitchen. What we'll be cooking, I don't know yet, but as always, it'll be great, delicious, and fun to do. So join us next week. Till then, take care.